Scorpio. Welcome to your spirit guide messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we are going to take a look at what spirit wants you to know right now. So this could be messages of clarity, confirmation, um, advice, guidance, or maybe just things you need to know right now. So take them how uh, they resonate for you. And, uh, every message may not be for you. So please do keep that in mind. Um, and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a personal private reading. But um, if you find the messages don't resonate for you here, you can check the description box below for your love and general playlist and go under the general playlist and you can find past readings and maybe something that will resonate for you. I do consider them timeless, so even though they're dated, so feel free to go back and uh, watch them if you like to. So let's see what spirit has for you this time, Scorpio. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy. So I will be pulling three oracles from each deck if you're new here. And then I'll be clarifying with the tarot, pulling a few, maybe one, two, maybe even three for each card just to get more clarity. And then at the end, I have those prayer cards. Uh, I'll pull one of the, one of the, ugh, been a long day. This is my last reading, so... And I had overtime at my full-time job, and uh, so getting a little tired. But anyway, we have the prayer cards here. I'll pull one of those for you at the end. All right, so what do we have for Scorpio? Also, in the description box below, you can find um, links to my social media, decks I'm using. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or anything like that, that info is below. And if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, that info is below also. And also, if you're new... And um, like how I read my style, check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Hit the bell, you won't miss out, and you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio, we're at almost 15,000 subscribers, so excited about that. All right, these two flipped, so I'm going to take those, we'll get one more. This is the numerology deck. Also, you can leave me a comment too if you'd rather have me uh, pull these ahead of time and then just come on camera. I can do that, but I do like to uh, shuffle and pull on camera so that um, you can see nothing is staged here. So you do have the option of skipping ahead or speeding up the readings. So be patient with the shuffling. This is tarot. These are cards, and it is how it works. So... And it's a free reading. So, people who complain about free readings, uh, your messages will be deleted. So, just to let you know. All right. Scorpio. Let's see. The moonology here. What messages are for Scorpio, spirit, please? Thank you so much. For Scorpio. At this time, for Scorpio. Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. One. Oh, and I guess those two. All right. And now we have the Soul's Journey. I'll be pulling three of these. And then this deck here was my very, very first tarot deck that I actually learned on. And it was Tarot Made Easy. <laughs> and it's by Jonathan D. And I've never seen anybody use those cards on camera. So <clears throat> I didn't like them at first. I thought they were hard to learn from because it doesn't really, they don't really have a lot of um, images on them for the minor, uh, ace through 10. There's not a lot of imagery, so I found it a little hard to work with, but now it's like my favorite deck because it was my first deck, so. All right, oh, what are my favorites? I have a lot of favorites, so let's, okay, I guess. One, two, three. Well, I guess those are your messages. Okay. Let's see what we have. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. We have 46, Domestic Harmony, which is 10, which is about a completion of some kind here. But one is always a new beginning, but some sort of harmony. So that's good. So there could be an ending of difficult times, not seeing eye to eye, uh, whatever here, and having sort of like a new refreshed, energy in your home life in some way or it could be co-workers well if you are working family friends you know however that resonates for you so that's a good energy and we do have blue which is the throat uh chakra which is about communication so 
And we have here financial discipline, 48, which is 12, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, kind of energy, working at something or mastering something new, a new craft or something here. So you could be uh, really in an energy here, finally working out maybe some financial difficulties you might have had or something like that. But also Spirit wants you to know to be a little more disciplined in that energy. If you have bad, bad spending habits or maybe you don't even balance your checkbook. I mean, whatever it is for you. And maybe you need to be a little more disciplined in the financial area of either your spending, your budgeting, uh, keeping track, you know, that kind of energy also. And we have here effort, 13, which is four. Four is about stability. So something needing to put the effort into, which will bring you stability. And it could have to do with your finances in some way, which may bring more domestic harmony into your home life. <laughs> So it kind of maybe all correlating for you. If not, they could be separate messages. But um, yellow, you know, is that solar plexus energy. So that's all about who you are, your identity, your authenticity, your originality, your soul mission, your soul purpose, what makes you you. Maybe effort here to do <laughs> what you really want to do and be true to you. I think we'll bring you, because that also reminds me of the yellow, like the sun energy, which is all about that happiness, joy, and the most positive card in the deck. All right, so let's see what these cards have to say. Wow, and I said sun. In this card here, we have Leo, which does represent the sun in the tarot. So we have don't let pride get in your way, new moon, uh, full moon in Leo. So Leo could mean something to you. You could have it in your chart or have a Leo around you or something that's significant that happened maybe around Leo season, which would have been the end of July into August. So how would that resonates for you? But here it's telling you, don't let your pride get in your way. So when we clarify with the tarot, we'll see, I mean, that could be a situation. Um, it could be a person, place, thing, situation. Uh, taking, you know, responsibility, maybe, you know, not owning up to something and not taking resp responsibility for something because of pride or ego or not venturing or accepting something because of pride and ego. So however that resonates for you. So we'll find out more when we get to the tarot. So now we have, well, here you are, Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. And this just, just came out for um, Aquarius. So here you are needing to release negativity and um, pride. Wow. Two full moons here. So something needs to come to a completion here. And that is some sort of negative energy and something with your pride that may be holding you back or fear or ego or something like that. All right. So let's see what your last card is. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. And look at the transformative energy in that card. The flowers for growth, expansion, prosperity. There's little butterflies here for transformation. So it's like we go from pride and negative energy to this growth and, and healing energy I'm feeling and expansion and transformation. Wow. You have made it, may have just gone through this cycle of releasing negativity and, you know, getting over pride issues, or maybe there's a Leo around you that uh, had that, you know, pride issue or however that resonates for you. But I feel like we went gone through a whole transformative state because now we're starting new and starting fresh with this crescent moon here. So <clears throat> it's telling you to have faith in your dreams whatever they may be. Maybe you're having a lot of dreams, so you may want to journal them. They may mean something for you. All right, so let's see what these have to say. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So this is telling you not to give up. Put in the effort and not to give up and to have faith in your dreams, whatever they are for you. Wow. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So you do have, and I had said growth, expansion, prosperity, abundance, success. So whatever you're dreaming of doing here, to put in the effort and don't give up. It could be your pride getting in the way. Like, oh, I can't do that. People, What will people think, you know, kind of energy. That could be that negative energy. It could be the negative thinking for some of you. 
and decision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So being indecisive here about something. But you have success and not to give up, put in the effort and to have faith in your dreams and to release negative thinking or ego or pride or whatever it is for you. And again, with the negative energy there. So, so some of it's kind of correlating into one message. So however that resonates for you. So let's clarify these energies for you, Scorpio. Clarify these energies for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. All this energy for Scorpio. What is this domestic harmony about for Scorpio? Oh, well, that's way too many. Way too many. Just one or two, please, for Scorpio. Domestic harmony. What is that about, please? Thank you. Well, I got two, and I asked for two, and I got two. So we got the two ones, and we have the star. So this is good. So there might have been a, a point where... Um, you were at a crossroads with somebody, like I said, a family, a friend, a coworker, however it resonates for you, at a crossroads, don't know what to do. Can we heal this with the star energy? Can we heal this? Can we bring peace, harmony back in? And with that blue there, there could have been some communication that took place here. And now, and we have a lot of blue here. And we have blue here. So, you know, could have been at a crossroads, not sure what to do. I felt like, feel like, you know, maybe some communication here can help to bring in healing, faith, hope, optimism in this domestic uh, situation, whatever it is for you. And this is divinely guided energy, which is in dreams coming true. I'm just looking, look like, I don't know, it just looks like her nipples are pierced. I, I don't just saying, <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I think Spirit wants you to know if you're at a crossroads with somebody that there's a lot of blue here for communication, some sort of communication here in a peaceful, harmonious way can bring in healing into the situation, not to give up hope because there is faith, hope and optimistic energy here and uh, things changing for the better and wishes and dreams coming true. So it's good energy. All right. So. Well, I was just going to say, what is this financial discipline? Yeah. <laughs> and we got temperance. And that went like flying across the room on the floor. So, and we got the king of swords. So maybe you need to seek out legal advice or maybe a financial counselor or something like that to help you be better disciplined in your finances. Because the king of swords can be somebody who's very smart, logical, um, I mean, we didn't get the King of Pentacles, but it still could mean, um, you know, the King or Queen of Swords, this energy can be, um, again, someone who's very logical. So, and this temperance here is about balancing out your energy. So I feel like, yeah, you may need some, because this King, King, King or Queen of Swords energy can be like legal counsel, but I'm not getting like, you know, that kind of energy, more like maybe advice, guidance, or something like that to help you uh, balance out your finances here, some of you. All right. Could also maybe getting a bookkeeper, an accountant, or something like that. All right. So what is effort? What do we need to put effort in? Spirit, please, for Scorpio. What do we need to put effort in for Scorpio? We got, well, we got three. Oh, I guess we'll take them. So we have the King of Pentacles. Wow, and there's, and I just, did I not just say we didn't get the King of Pentacles, but here is the, I can't make this up. I just can't, I can't. So, wow. So we got the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. Wow, and the Tower. Okay, so you got two majors and a minor. So there could be a tower moment here where you're like, okay, what just happened here? <laughs> and really thinking about what, what just happened here. And now, you know, you know, this King of Pentacles is someone who is stable, secure, grounded, smart, practical. You know, they're an analyzer. As with the Hermit is going within and, you know, doing that deep thinking, contemplating, healing energy. So I feel like here... 
I mean, some of you, I mean, a check may bounce. Spirit wants you to know your check may bounce or, um, or something here, or maybe, you know, your credit cards to the max and you're like, oh my God, what the heck's going you know, something here where you need to be more stable, practical, grounded, you know, better with your finances. I'm, I'm feeling it's correlating with the financial, um, aspect. So yeah, there's an effort here to be more stable, secure, and grounded to really think about this because something may happen here. It could be a shock, a surprise that if you don't put the effort into something here that you need to, uh, something's going to happen with the universe is going to make you put the effort into something here. So however that resonates for you, if it's not career, I mean, if it's not finances, I mean, some of you it could be a career where something may explosive may happen in your career. And it's going to, you know, make you think, okay, do I really want to stay here? What do I do now? And it's all about your stability and doing uh, what's best for you, putting in the effort here to do whatever's best for you and your stability. So however that resonates for you. All right. So, and really think about things before you take action. You know, take a slow, smart, practical approach because if you just rush in, uh, like, you know, putting in the effort, but just like rushing in too quickly, uh, some sort of tower moment may happen also. And my cat is like poking me. What's the matter? It's like, when are you going to get done, mommy? I want some lap time. All right. So, what is don't let pride get in your way? Full moon in Leo. Full moon in Leo. Or Scorpio, please. All right, we'll take these two. Wow. Seven of Wands in the death card. Yeah, there needs to be ending a death of the ego or pride here. Because you could be defensive on guard um, kind of energy about something or just in general. Uh, something here could have left you just really defensive and on guard and feel like, like you always have to stand up for yourself and f maybe fighting with people, arguing. I don't know, whatever that, um, but there needs to be a death of that energy, death of the ego, I feel, for some of you. That's what I'm feeling and is saying, don't let this get in your way. It's time to end either combative energy, defensive energy. All right, so, or if you've got somebody around you like this, it's time to maybe cut them off. That's your energy right there with death, Scorpio. So, all right, you could have fire in your chart, and maybe that's why Leo is here. All right, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. What is that about? Wow. Queen of Wands, so that's that fiery, passionate energy. So, yeah, if you have any negativity about moving forward, because the Queen of Wands is someone who's very creative. They also go after what they want with a lot of uh, drive, ambition, go-getter kind of energy. So if you have negative energy about going after what you want, and I had felt that. This Queen of Wands, they go, at king or queen, doesn't matter. They go after what they want with drive, ambition. Uh, they're smart, creative, sometimes an entrepreneur. Time to release negativity surrounding that, if that makes sense for you. All right, what is this have faith in your dreams? What is that about for Scorpio? Have faith in your dreams. Three, okay. The uh, Four of Pentacles, the Queen. Now we got the King and Queen here, and the Four of Swords. So we got two Fours. Again, Fours are about stability, but the Four of Pentacles is about is about your stability, your foundation and basis, but also an energy of holding back. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is, you know, smart, practical, analytical, could be good with finances. And my cat is like going crazy here. And um, could be like a boss or a business owner or something like that. Stable. But then we have the Four of Swords, which is about thinking, contemplating, resting, rejuvenating. So I feel like you're holding back from your dreams, but you really need to think about it here because you can have all this growth, abundance, and stability in your life. New growth. We have new growth, transformation, something new here. So Spirit wants you to know that. All right. I'm almost done. Pumpkin, he's like tapping on my camera. All right. So perseverance, what is that about? So we have the Six of Cups here. 
You can do whatever you set your mind to. So this could be Six of Cups, something that you've wanted to do since childhood or something involving um, something from your childhood. You know, thinking back fondly of things, memories of the past, maybe moving back home. So you can, if you've had a childhood dream, you can go for it and it's saying not to give up and that energy. So however that means for you. All right. So I don't feel comfortable taking that. So what is this success about for Scorpio? For Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. The two of pentacles. So again, that's about balance. Trying to balance things out, uh, juggling a lot here. So, I mean, if you're balanced, trying to balance things out now or you're struggling or um, feeling imbalanced, just know here that you do have some sort of success coming your way. It could be in finances or career that will make you feel more balanced. All right. So what is this indecision about for? And I'm just getting like the infinity symbol here. So whatever it is, it's probably meant for you. So indecision. So we have the five of swords and the eight of wands. So the eight of wands energy is about, again, travel, action, communication, taking action. But then we have the five of swords again, which is like that ego kind of energy of, is this, is this just unfeeling unfair? Or is this even worthy of me fighting for this? Um, is this a losing battle? You know, do I give up? Do I keep fighting? Do I try to get ahead at all costs? It's kind of all that ego overthinking kind of energy so so whatever you're indecisive about it's like kind of two contradicting energies here of do I take action and go for it or do I just give up and lay down or keep fighting for it so needing to make a decision here so let's get one more because I feel kind of uh, got two opposing energies here so but we do have the ace of swords to me right in the middle there. So, which if you take away that ace, we would get the four swords, but we just had that over here, which is about that healing, thinking, contemplating kind of energy. And that would be the indecision, really thinking about something you need to make a decision on, take action on. Because you do have the sword of success and victory right in the middle there, a brand new uh, divinely guided beginning based on truth and clarity, communication, Telling it like it is, cutting things out, no longer serving you. So it's time to decide here on what you need to take action on and just do it here. And trust your intuition. And taking action here with the chariot, positive movement forward, success, victory, balance, go getter, going after it with a lot of drive, ambition. So that's the chariot overall energy telling you to go for it. All right, so let's see here, Scorpio. Let's get a closing prayer for you, Scorpio. And that's a perseverance too, is going for it and not giving up. If it's a childhood dream you want to chase, it's a sitting, the chariot sitting right on success. And don't let pride get in your way and putting in the effort. All right, so let's get a closing prayer. Scorpio, what is the closing prayer? The Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. The closing prayer for Scorpio. Okay, this one. Where nothing will be impossible with God. So, yeah, nothing is impossible here. That whatever you set your mind to, whatever you're planning on doing here, or whatever here is all possible. So just keep that in mind. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.